1582 it started as an oil mill. Lots of people see the white material, they think it's flour. Lots of people taste it, it's okay, but it's limestone. Limestone is good for your bones, but it's not for pancakes or bread. If it was a flour windmill to grind the flour, the stone is never right up or it's laying flat and grinding like this. One stone is 3,000 kilos. In this combination, 6,000 kilos is only running by weight energy, nothing else. The white powder, the limestone, we sell it to soccer clubs to make the white lines around the football fields. We sell it to companies that use it to make paint. Uh, and we sell it as a product, as a filler. So it has more function. On the other side, we have a smaller limestone that's around 5,000 kilos. And there we grind the earth colors. That's also the reason why it's in a house. Because if it was here, green, red, or yellow, the whole windmill is that color. So the colors, we keep them in that room. Uh, the earth colors can be uh, yellow, red, green. We buy it in Spain, Italy, or other countries. We ship it to Holland. We're grinding it to a fine powder. After that, we deliver it to art suppliers, but also the Rembrandt Museum or the Wright Museum. And so then the painter can choose which kind of binder. You can use a uh, classic linseed oil, but you can also use an acrylic binder. Or do it with egg yellow and make egg tempera. It's an Italian technique. A nice technique, only when you use egg as binder, you cannot keep it for a few weeks, but you have to use it in a couple of days, else you're gonna smell the binder. That's not so nice. Uh, when it's very windy, we can also engage both grinding stones, no problem and slow the windmill down with 11,000 kilo. We did that this morning because it was storming here, but now the wind is a little bit gone, so maybe later I'm gonna put some canvas on the blades to make some more power, and then we can use the second grinding stone. Now, at the moment, you will see all windmills without canvas because uh, the wind is, is strong enough. When there's not so much wind, we use sails, and then we can take some more wind. Uh, this type of windmill, the head is laid loose on the construction. So every morning I have to climb upstairs. Upstairs on the platform we have a large wheel. And if we pull on that wheel, we bring the head slowly to the right position. Uh, why slowly? The head, including the big system, is 15,000 kilo, and we have to do it by hand. Uh, we grease it quite often with pork fat, and then it goes a little bit lighter. Uh, for me, it should be a lot easier with a gearbox, a motor, make it electric, uh, start stop button, maybe an app on my iPhone, but that's not 1700. In 1700, they also did it by hand, so we still do it by hand. Um, I'm complaining that it is so heavy with this windmill, but if you go outside the gate to the right, the first windmill on your right side, it's a Paltrop windmill, we only have five left in whole Holland. There, it's not the head that's moving, no. The complete windmill is moving to the right position. So my neighbor is a kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger. He also smells like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now you have to be very strong to bring that windmill to the right position of the wind. Uh, here we have a stone breaker. The stone breaker, you can use it for harder stones like a flint stone or fire stone or marmor. If I put this stone under my bigger stone, the bigger stone will damage. This one is harder. So for this one, we use the stone breaker. Uh, with this machine, we chuck tropical plants or wood. This is a red wood from Brazil. Uh, it's difficult to see, but it's, it's red. Uh, if you chop it fine enough, you have a powder. This powder, you can put it in a basket with a few chemicals and dye your own clothes. So this is not to make oil paint. This is for dyeing your own clothes, like red, or with indigo plant, you can make a jeans blue, indigo blue, possible. Uh, one hammer, shoot at 50 kilo. Upstairs there's a shaft. If I engage it, the shaft will lift the hammer up and drops it down. Uh, on a windy day, we can eat everything. At the end of the day, I will hear nothing. Uh, so this is only for demonstrations and not to let it run the whole day. It's too loud. Uh, if you have an oil mill, you have to crush the last oil out of the seeds. This noise, you will hear it the whole day. Not only for a demonstration, you need to do it. I don't need to do it anymore, only for demonstrations. Better. 
And if you want, in this windmill, it's still allowed to go up. Uh, don't search for an elevator, and you have to go by ladder. After the ladder, there's coming a smaller one to the platform outside. Outside, you can see the wheel when we bring the head to the right position. It's allowed to take pictures inside, outside, no problem, okay. But when you're going down, you take the other ladder, face to the ladder, and backwards you go slowly downstairs. Uh, I wish you a nice vacation. Uh, maybe a little bit more sun, and uh, have a nice day. You're welcome. I have wind enough. <laughs>